Hello, welcome to this month's video blog. Today we're going to be talking about the Retroline IP system, uh, which is the system that features the male thread connection opposed to the compression T-fitting uh, typically used with polyethylene pipe applications. Uh, many questions come up. What do we do when we don't have a polyethylene pipe? Uh, we may have a copper pipe. And that's what I'm going to kind of do uh, demonstrate today. What I have in front of me is an inch and a quarter copper T. I have an inch and a quarter sweat to inch and a quarter female pipe thread. And I have just three pieces of uh, inch and a quarter copper pipe cuttings. Now, to set this up so that we can introduce the retro line into the copper pipe, we would have the incoming water supply. So this is just a short cut uh, for the demonstration. So this could be from a uh, well source, curb stop, copper is you know, still seen in municipal applications. So the horizontal plane is gonna be uh, coming from the source. On the branch, we'll have another length of inch and a quarter copper. This would be the feed coming into the house. So feeding the hot water tank and the domestic water uh, throughout the home. Next, the final piece of inch and a quarter copper will go into the side of the inch and a quarter copper T. And then we would end up putting the inch and a quarter female pipe thread. So with this setup now, we can easily introduce the inch and a quarter thread connection on this particular Retroline IP system. We then feed the heater through the horizontal run. The reason we did this opposed to introducing through the branch is we would not be able to easily pass that product 90 degrees through that T, so it makes it much easier to do it from the side. Then we feed the retro line into the copper assembly and the male thread will connect directly to the female thread found on that copper assembly. And that will provide us with a complete pressurized connection and a copper pipe. Thank you for watching this month's video topic. For further information, be sure to visit our website, heatline.com, and also be sure to subscribe to our social media pages.